Hey, welcome back to the Core Carters News Lab. Today, I want to dive into a new top 10 list, top 10 free Fire TV apps. The Fire TV has a very quickly growing library of content out there, and they don't necessarily, I think, do the best job of communicating what's new and what's out there and what you should check out. Um, so I wanted to pick out 10 of my favorite free um, Fire TV apps to let you know of, hey, what I think you should try out. These aren't all the free apps that Fire TV have. These are just the ones I personally think are the best right now. We're gonna stick to ones from the official um, Amazon Fire TV app store. And hey, if you have a question or a comment about them or a suggestion for one from the official Fire TV app store, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to um, answer you and I'll love to hear about your thoughts on what are the best top 10 uh, Fire TV free apps. Let's stick with the free one right now. Now these are in no particular order and these are just the ones I personally like right now. First up is the CWC. Now this is not the CW channel. There is another app we'll get to that a little later which has the CW current shows. This is their free streaming service and they actually have some original content now. Um, let's kind of jump up here into the shows and let you know what's all available. So you see they have a um, quite a growing lineup of different content out here and it's a great way to um they even have classic um daytime soap operas uh the justice league cupid's match the list goes on and on so check it out i really like this it's ad supported again you're either paying for a show with your wallet or you're paying for a show with your eyeballs and i really like this one here uh, my kids are enjoying it they've kind of become addicted to a lot of these shows. And it, you know, it really does add um, a lot of content out there that you wouldn't necessarily find on other services, especially not for free. Um, next one up is the CBS News. Now I often get asked, I want news, but I don't want to pay for news. Um, that I don't watch news all the time, but hey, for instance, the recent presidential elections and a lot of the things happening there, that I want the ability to uh, access that. So CW, uh, CBS News, excuse me, offers a 24 seven stream of news. But if you press down, you can also get this menu. You see McDonald's has their, um, the sauce coming back, US Embassy attacked. So you can you know, get quick news bits in there, or you can access the main feed of their 24 seven news. And over the weekend, they'll replay their, um, their talk shows and so forth on it. I've been very impressed with it. When the presidential primaries were happening, we were having the debates. It was one of the best, very stable options to watch that. Um, let's keep going. We, we just did the CWC, now let's do the CW. Now recently CW pulled their content from uh, Hulu, it's been a little while now, and they're not on a lot of live TV streaming services, but the CW app does allow you to access their content the next day, a lot of it, a lot of great content. Whose Line Is It Anywhere, The 100, Penn and Teller, um, DC Legends, Supergirl, The Flash, Black Lightning, R Riverdale, they're, it's great if you like the CW. Now this stuff isn't staying here forever. Um, let's go right back. Oh, where's my cursor? I guess I can't get back up there. But it does show you on the home screen, it'll say, hey, right here is a um, show's leaving the next five days. So you'll if you continuously stay on top of it, the shows come out the next day, you can watch full seasons of shows for free here on the CW app. And you know, if you have a live TV streaming service that doesn't have the CW, you can't get with an antenna, that's a service to get. It's also a great one. Um, we have the CW, my wife loves some of their shows. We missed an episode, this is a great way to come back and pick up one episode you missed without having to run out and buy a $1.99 episode. All right, next up, uh, let's jump into Crackle first. Crackle is a great free streaming service owned by Sony. So it has a ton of Sony content, which means you get a random smattering every month of Seinfeld. You also find all kinds of great other ones, Hitch, uh, Bill, both Bill and Ted, Step Brothers, so fairly common movies, popular classic movies. Um, Drive is on here, uh, The Oath, and just keep on going, you can see there's a lot of stuff. Now you can create an account. It's 100% free. They kind of hide it a little bit when you first open it the first time, it'll say log in. Right underneath it, there's a little thing that says skip. If you hit skip, you can go right in here. But creating an account will allow you to do things like save shows, pick up where you left off, move your content between devices. So watching this at work, I go home, I can continue watching what I, where I left off. So, uh, but you don't need to create an account there. Hey, next up is Twitch. Now this one you're probably thinking, 
I, you know, I'm a video game, I'm not a video game person. I am, you may not. Why would I want Twitch? Well, Twitch has a lot of other stuff now. See, they have con TV right now where they had some different cons. Uh, when the Power Ranger movie came out last year, they did a marathon of all of tons of Power Rangers. Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, I believe, was um, streamed down here for a long time around his uh, recently. They also had um, all kinds of, uh, the joy of painting and other stuff. So there, Amazon's also been premiering some uh, first episodes of new shows on here for you to check out. I would keep this in your back pocket when, again, when the presidential um, uh, debates and all that, the um, conventions were happening, Twitch aired a lot of that. And it was a very good quality stream. So I would check this out. If you do like video games, it's a great one too, but they do a lot more than video games now. All right, let's keep on moving. Bloomberg TV, again, if you want free news, Bloomberg TV is pretty good. Now, if you remember this from 10 years ago, I would recommend you try this again because Bloomberg TV has really upped the quality of their game. You can see that they allow you to pick videos that you want to watch, but you can also jump in and access their live TV once it loads. And you can get free access to the Bloomberg Live right here. And it will also show you what's coming up next. So Bloomberg TV is a great option for news coverage, especially if it's financial related, but they do a good job now of covering a wide range of topics. TED. Now TED is a service that um, they take presenters, they have these big conferences and they'll have short speeches and everything from comedy, entertainment to uh, music and science and um, how to raise your children, all kinds of stuff. And you know, politics right here, the evolution of music. What's the secret to living longer? And they're really quick, short, fun, often very humorous speeches that I highly recommend. I like listening to this in the car every now and then, I have the app on my phone, but there's something about watching it too. And it's 100% free. I highly recommend you check out TED. Um, I, I could go on and on about some of my favorite speeches there. And I, even if you're not really into educational, they do have a good lineup of some very comedic, entertaining speeches. PBS, now PBS video it, um, has a ton of content here. Um, now, if you want to activate it, you can donate and get a ton of other content or you can activate later. And you can access a ton of content on here. Now, a ton of it is behind a paywall. If you donate for five bucks, you can get a ton of stuff here. I will include this one, even though it's kind of a paywall one, because uh, the PBS is such a great um, app that you should donate to and include on here. So you see, activate, if you create an account, highly recommend you do it. For five bucks, you get a year, you get a ton of content. And you get a tax deductible donation to PBS. All right, let's keep on going. One last one here, 2B TV. All right, once it loads, 2B TV is a lot like Crackle, 100% free content out here. 2B TV, again, allows you to register or create a sign in. You don't have to, you can select guest pass, skip all that, and get access to a ton of movies and content here. The, again, if you create an account, you can pick up where you left off and still um, watch it and so on. Um, so they have a ton of featured content here. They have, pair, they have a lot of deals with like Paramount, for example, what to expect when you're expecting, Heartbreakers, Beauty Shop, Duck Dynasty, a lot of TV shows have been coming out here, Storage Wars, Dog the Bounty Hunter. Um, let's keep going through their TV shows. Oh, yep, I am in it. The IT Crowd, here you go, new releases. Uh, let's see here, what, did, what, what we did on our holiday. Um, she's funny that way. The list goes on and on. Leaving soon, kind of nice. That I wish more places did. There's the devil inside, Jeff. So, hey, 2B TV offers a ton of great content. I'll recommend it. Um, one thing to kind of remember, I did include PPS. I do think it's well worth it. You get a little tax deduction, so I don't really consider it paying to get access to all the content. I know somebody here is like, no, oh, PPS is not necessarily a completely free app. I would still include it because I just think the content's so great and it you know it's a donation you're doing there so hey check it out 2b tv ted bloomberg oh 
Twitch, Crackle, the CW, CBS News, the CW Seed, again, the CW and the CW Seed, two different streaming services, and Pluto TV. Those are the ones I highly recommend you check out. Thank you for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll do my best to help you get the most out of your core card experience. But to get you more help, check out courtcardsnews.com.